What is going on, Krabby fam? It's your boy, Cortlandia. I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial for Osiris Rafflebot. Let's get into it. Once you open Osiris, we're going to be taken to the Tasks page. We're not going to talk about anything on this page just yet. we got a lot of material to cover before we can start making tasks. First thing you're going to want to do is head down to the bottom left-hand corner. You're going to see your Discord handle, and you're going to see these three dots. Press the three dots, go to Settings, and your settings will open up. In the settings tab, you're going to see everything from your username to your license key. This is where you're going to input your webhooks and your Capture API keys. Go ahead and copy and paste your Discord webhook into the correct field. This is where you're going to choose a Captcha API key. I use 2Captcha. Osiris recommends 2Captcha. It has always done the best for me. If you don't have a 2Captcha account, simply go to 2Captcha.com and sign up for an account. Add some funds to your balance and then copy and paste your key into the correct field. I've never used the SMS API key field. I've never had to SMS verify any account within Osiris, so we can skip that for now. If you don't already have an address generation key, what you're gonna wanna do is open up a new browser and go to bingmapsportal.com. You're gonna wanna sign in. It's gonna make you sign in with an Outlook account. Once you've signed in, you're gonna be taken to this dashboard. What you're gonna wanna do is go to the top, my account, down to my keys and you're going to want to hit click here to create a new key go ahead and click there for application name i named this osiris and i left the application url key type and application test blank as is go ahead press create once you've done that i've already done it so i don't need to redo it then this field is going to pop up and all you're going to do is copy your key go back to osiris and paste that address generation key into the correct field the only other things you're going to use in settings are the import and export configuration buttons. Export your configuration fairly often. Once exporting it, all you'll have to do is import that same JSON file to get back to where you were if you were to lose everything. Now that we're done with settings, let's head up to the billing tab. In the billing tab, all you're going to do to create a new billing profile is hit this little plus button at the top. I usually name these after whatever card I use. I'm going to use my Apple card, so I'm going to name it Apple card. Osiris does a really good job of keeping you informed and up to date on what to do in the billing profile tab per each retailer's raffle. For the most part, everything I enter, all I have to do is enter my card number down here, followed by my expiration date, followed by my CVV. That's all I've ever done. It's always worked for me. Next, we're going to head to the emails tab. Here is where we're going to keep all of our email lists. To create a new email list, all you're going to do is hit that plus button again. Name this, whatever you would like. Make sure you're staying fairly organized when you're doing this. It can get pretty messy and it will cause quite a few headaches in the long run. So I'm going to name this Outlooks uh, 1 for my first Outlook list. I'm going to then copy and paste my email list into the list form. You can see the amount of emails within that list. I have 100. I usually recommend that you keep it between 50 to 100. The smaller the list, the better in my experience. You can also split up your lists if you'd like. Let's say you import 1,000 emails instead of breaking them up outside of Osiris. You can simply do this, change it to the amount of lists you want, and hit Create. Here is my first email list. Now we're going to head over to the Addresses tab. This is where the address generation key is going to come into play. So to create a new address list, you're going to hit the plus icon again. And let's say I want to generate some addresses based out of, let's do Los Angeles. I'm going to name it Los Angeles. I'm going to leave the list empty and then I'm going to press create. This field's going to be empty because we have no addresses in that list. To generate addresses, we're going to want to go up to the top right and hit this round record button. It's going to bring up this form where we are going to have to find coordinates. To find some coordinates, all you're going to do is open up a new browser window, go to Google Maps, and type in your location. Since I'm doing Los Angeles, I'm going to go to Los Angeles. I'm going to zoom in and find somewhere to click. Once I click somewhere, this is going to be brought up, and you're just going to press the coordinates and copy and paste that second line into Osiris. Go ahead, paste those coordinates into Osiris. Set the radius to one, that's what Osiris recommends. I usually use a retry of 15 and a delay of about a thousand. I want to make 
100 accounts. So I am going to type in 100 and click generate addresses. Up here, it's gonna tell you the amount of successfully generated addresses and the amount of failed addresses. If you keep getting a lot of failed addresses, what you're gonna to wanna to do is either increase the retry or increase your delay. So my address generation task just completed and you can see that I successfully generated 100 different Los Angeles based addresses. What you're gonna to wanna to do is create a lot of different address lists with different locations, cities, countries, states, etc., just to help you enter a bunch of different raffles. Some retailers only allow you to enter a, a raffle if you live in that state, like Exhibition, they're Ohio based and they only let Ohio residents enter their raffles. So I usually generate a bunch of Ohio account lists specific to those raffles. Um, I also recommend that you spread out your entries so that all of your entries are not coming from the same state or city. Now that you've seen how to generate addresses, we're gonna head over to the proxies tab. Once you're in the proxies tab, all you're gonna do to create a new proxy list is click the plus icon again, name it whatever you want. I usually name it based off of whatever provider I'm using. Go ahead and paste a set of freshly generated proxies into the list tab. You can see that I just pasted 1000 different proxies into my list. I'm never gonna have to use a proxy list this large because none of my email or account lists are gonna be this large. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do, I'm just gonna split this up real quick and make five lists of proxies that are all 200 a piece. It will auto name them for you. And up top, you can see that they are broken up into groups of 200. If you ever need to delete more than one list at a time, hit this edit button and you can select as many as you want. You can delete as many as you want, etc. Go ahead and close that. And we're gonna to head to the accounts tab. The accounts tab is a little confusing at first and it is kind of overwhelming if you've never used it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do to create a new account list is hit this plus button, name this. I usually name them after whatever retailer I am signing up for and the email list that I'm using to do so. Let's sign up for some exhibition accounts. I'm using my email list Outlook 1, so I'm gonna name it Exhibition Outlook 1, press create, and it's gonna bring up this list of modules that you can use. For the most part, all the raffles that I enter are primarily Shopify based. So to create some new exhibition accounts, I'm simply gonna press the Shopify module. It's gonna be blank because I don't have any. I'm gonna hit that top right record button and this dialog box will pop up. I'm gonna choose my email list. I am using Outlook 1 as my email list, so I'm gonna press that. Proxy list, I'm gonna use Mushroom 1. For the URL field, all you're gonna do is go to whatever retailer you're signing up for go to their accounts tab and find the create account button. Once you found it, copy and paste that URL into the URL field and we can move on. Leave password and list blank. I've never used them. And then we're gonna select a solver. I'm using two captcha, so I will select two captcha. I wanna make the maximum amount of accounts as possible. So I will leave it at max and I'm simply just gonna hit generate accounts. Once I do that, this will open and it'll show you my success rate of generating accounts. Specific retailers take longer than others. Most of the Shopify based ones are pretty quick. Make sure you're using good proxies that you haven't used on any other task or else you'll end up with quite a few failed account generations. If you do end up with a lot of failed account generations, feel free to rerun the task. All the successful accounts will just be flagged as failed, but they will all stay within this dialog box. Uh, as you can see, that was pretty quick. I just finished generating 100 exhibition accounts. So what you can also do is you can make multiple retail account lists per email list. So I just made an exhibition one. I can also make a union account list for my Outlook one email list. You would just do the same as I did with a different URL. Make sure that you're switching out your proxies often. You'll never want to use those lists more than once. There's a handful of retailers that require not only an account for their website, which you would create in the Shopify module, but also an Instagram account list or a Twitter account list. I'll show you guys in a separate tutorial on how to scrape all of their social media accounts so you can gather a list of those accounts. Now that we've made two account lists, I'm gonna take you back to the home page and show you how to successfully make a task. All you're gonna wanna do is head up to the top right, press create task, most of the raffles that I enter use a module called Launches AIO. Go ahead and find Launches AIO in this module finder. Go ahead, select that, press next. It's gonna bring up this dialog box. 
where you can input all of your information. To find all these raffle links, what you're gonna wanna do is just pay attention to Osiris's Discord. They always post them and they always post a comprehensive guide on how to enter each raffle. So I'm gonna go to Osiris's Discord and find a raffle link that's live so I can show you how to fill out the rest of the form. Once I found that link in Osiris's Discord, I'm just gonna paste it there. I'm gonna go over to the account list and choose my exhibition list since it is an exhibition raffle. I'm gonna head down to proxy list and choose a proxy list that I have not used yet. I always recommend using proxy list once uh, and no more than that. I'm gonna choose mushroom four because I haven't used it yet. And then I'm gonna head over to address list. Since exhibition only ships within Ohio, I'm gonna choose an address list that is based out of Ohio. I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna to head to target time zone. So the way to choose your target time zone has nothing to do with your personal location. It doesn't have to do with the location of the retailer either. It only has to do with the address list you're choosing. So if I chose a, an Ohio address list, I'm gonna to wanna to find and select the time zone that Ohio is based in. So since Ohio is on the East Coast and they're Eastern, I'm gonna select negative four. If you don't know off the top of your head um, the time zones for each of the address lists you have, just go ahead and Google time zone map. It'll show you every single location for every single time zone and just select the corresponding one. Capture bypass, I'm always gonna choose yes. Card list, I'm gonna choose my Apple card where the number is in the card field at the bottom. No shipping or billing info is put in. Country, I'm gonna choose United States. Unless Osiris tells me otherwise, I'm gonna leave the majority of these blank. Uh, for size, if you want all your tasks to run random sizes, you can type in any. If you wanna choose a specific size, just go ahead and input that size there. Scrolling down, we're gonna to head to the task settings. We have two task modes. We have fast and custom. For specific raffles that only allow you to get entries in within a specific amount of time, for instance, undefeated, they do flash raffles that last 15 minutes. You're gonna to wanna to run fast tasks. For raffles that last a few days, use a custom delay. Uh, I usually set this between 15,000 and 30,000. I'm gonna do 20,000 real quick. Task limit max, and then always select the solver. If you don't select the solver and you try pressing create, it's gonna give you this little error. So select the solver, create, boom, done. Now that we have that task successfully created, we're just gonna go ahead and start that up. If you click on this little information icon over here, it'll bring up another dialog box. This is essentially your live logs. It'll show you what's entered successfully, what's failed, how many captures have been requested. If you're using one Shopify account list, you're gonna to wanna to use one fresh set of proxies and one specific address list. If you don't do this, things are gonna get messy and you're gonna get a lot of errors. Let's say you're running a raffle task with 100 emails and you get 50 failed entries. You're never gonna to wanna to rerun that task. You're gonna to wanna to find those failed entries and put them into a new email and account list and then rerun it, you're not gonna wanna rerun it because it will lead to some of your accounts getting clipped. I'm gonna stop this task. I'm not gonna let it play through. I don't need to get the entries in. Outlooks are filtered out through launches AIO anyways. So I'm just gonna stop it and we're gonna move on. At the bottom of the menu on the left-hand side, you're gonna see two tools as well. We're gonna have Spoof Browser. This essentially allows you to manually enter a bunch of raffles through Spoof Browsers. So you're gonna wanna choose a proxy list you haven't used yet you're always gonna to wanna to use the same amount of proxies as you are amounts of windows. Go ahead, find that URL, paste it there, change your windows to as many as you want, and you can create browser windows. The spoof browser tool is pretty easy to use. I've never had to use it. I've never had to manually enter a bunch of raffles myself. Next, we have the email confirmation tool. This is essentially used for raffles where they send you confirmation emails confirming your entry. You're gonna to have to mass confirm those and it's gonna be a pain in the butt if you try to do it all by yourself by hand. So to do this, you're gonna select your site. If it's not listed here, you're most likely gonna use link opener. I've never used anything but link opener. So select link opener, make sure you choose a fresh proxy list and make sure you use the same amount of proxies as you have confirmation links. What you're gonna to wanna to do next is find your confirmation links. The way you do this is by opening up your master mail going to your inbox and finding the confirmation emails that retailer sent you. For example, I entered a bunch of trophy room raffles the other day and I still have a ton of confirmation emails in my inbox. So next, you're gonna wanna go to the Chrome web store and find the extension called Link Grabber. It's this one with this icon. Go ahead, 
add that to Chrome, go back to your mailbox, and we can open up one of these email threads. In order to find all the URLs that you want to confirm, you're gonna open up this email list and you're gonna right click the button where it says, yes, I want to subscribe. I'm gonna copy that link address. I usually have a sticky note or a notes pad up so I can copy and paste easier. So go ahead and paste that link you just extracted and I'm just gonna delete all this nonsense so it's just that main link. Copy that new link, collapse your mailbox, go to link grabber, paste that in there and all the links to confirm your raffle entries are gonna be listed here. All you're gonna wanna do is copy those, go back to Osiris, paste them into the confirmation links tab and that's gonna confirm all those links using different proxies. If you try to do it yourself using one proxy, a lot of them are gonna get filtered out. So just let this run and confirm them all. Once that's finished, you have successfully confirmed all of your entries. So that about sums it up. Um, that was a quick little tutorial on Osiris Rafflebot. I know I didn't touch base on everything, but I tried to do my best in terms of getting you information quickly. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. Uh, but thanks so much for tuning in, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.